Get a large or giant size tube or jar and try it one week. If you are not convinced Colgate Brushless gives you clean, easy, comfortable shaves, mail the carton top to Bill Stern, care of Colgate, Jersey City 2, New Jersey. We'll see that you get one dollar quick. Buy Colgate Brushless Shaving Cream tomorrow. And now, pinch hitting for Bill Stern. Here is the famous movie star, Ronald Reagan, speaking from St. John's Hospital in California. Thanks. And even though I am broadcasting from a hospital, it gives me a bang to be able to pinch hit for Bill Stern tonight. To be able to try to spin those wonderful sports stories from his fascinating sports book. You know, I used to be a sports announcer myself. That's why the first story I'm going to tell tonight is about another sports announcer. A fellow from Philadelphia named Bob Allman. One day when Bob was a youngster, he was playing with a bunch of kids in the freight yards in his hometown, Frankfort, Pennsylvania. In order to get across the railroad track, Bob decided to climb over a freight train that was standing still. Steadily, surely, Bob climbed the ladder to the roof of the freight car. But then, suddenly, as he started down the ladder on the other side, the train began moving. And before the boy knew what was happening, he was knocked off the ladder and hit the ground with a resounding thud. For days, he lingered between life and death. But then one day, Bob opened his eyes, and the doctor looking down at him said, This boy's going to live. He'll be all right. Any other boy who'd been in such an accident might give up sports, but not Bob Allman. As he grew older, he went in for swimming, if only to make him forget the injury he'd suffered when he fell off the freight train. And then one day, he appeared before the athletic board at the University of Pennsylvania, where he'd enrolled as a freshman. He spoke to the head of the board. Sir, I'd like permission to try out for the wrestling team. Are you sure you can do it? Sir, I want to give it a try. Don't you think I deserve a chance? Of course you do. Okay, son, you'll get your chance. Bob Orman went out for the freshman wrestling team. And he astounded everybody by not losing a single match. Then the next year, Bob Orman made the varsity wrestling team. During three years of varsity competition, he won 44 out of 58 bouts against the toughest wrestling competition in intercollegiate circles. When Bob Ullman graduated from the University of Pennsylvania, he was recognized as one of the greatest wrestlers in the history of the college. So, when he decided to become a sports announcer, everybody agreed that Bob would make good in his new field, because he was such a hard worker. Well, that's the story of Bob Ullman, a fellow who became one of the greatest wrestlers in intercollegiate history and who went on to become a great sports announcer, despite the fact that he is totally blind. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronald Reagan is broadcasting from a hospital in California, where he's recovering from a broken leg. Since we're speaking from a hospital tonight, it seems...